Hello. No lessons today. Just a bit of fun. Sometimes uh, when you're doing all your, your kind of painting and you're exploring your ideas and stuff, sometimes you come up with these weird splashes and tests and things like that. And I thought it would be fun to kind of just take a piece that's just a kind of throw of some paint while you're thinking about some things and just kind of see what we can do with it. <laughs> just to just to kind of loosen up and have a bit of fun. Nothing serious, but it might give you some ideas of like a piece. Maybe you've tested out some watercolor, tested out some ink and you've put it on the side. And then later on, when you look at it, you kind of go, doesn't that look like a... And then you could draw on top of it and build onto it in a very kind of like a, like somebody has helped you. You know, it's like you've seen something that maybe you've drawn days ago on the floor and you've picked it up. So I'm going to try with this today. And one piece that got me was this. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I've just put two white spots in there now. And I thought, doesn't that look like somebody's hat? And a body I don't know maybe it doesn't <laughs> but to me it does and I was just looking at it and I was thinking, doesn't that and I so I put some white in there just to see if it would help bring the thing bring the idea across so I thought let's try it let's see if we can make some kind of splash some kind of throwaway piece into a drawing so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to have a bit of fun. Let's see what happens. It might be terrible and it might be amazing. So you ready to just have a bit of fun? Okay. Thank you. Let's see what we can do. So here we are. Just seen these pieces on the floor and I thought I would try it. There's a couple of pieces, but I, some of them, some of them like this just seemed a little bit too like circular and this was two blobs. Don't know what I was thinking. I'd, I'd tested out something and it was just a piece on the floor. See they're all bent and buckled up. And I just thought I would try and um, have a go and see if I could kind of, I don't know, I kind of saw a face in there. And I thought, well, let's try. Let's just give it a go. Who knows? Uh, I'm not really quite sure of what what I can see in it, but I kind of saw that as a lip and two eyes. There was like two lighter parts, a little bit like that. And that was there. And I just put some white in there just to, um, I think it was just Tipex, I think, just to see if it would kind of bring out that character more. And what I can kind of see is I can kind of see this as a lip. And um, I was just curious to see if I could make a face out of it, make a character out of it. And that's what I thought I would try and do. You never know with these type of things. Sometimes, sometimes you kind of see something and sometimes you, you don't, you know. And um, I just thought it might be a, a bit of fun. Try and bring an old piece that's going to be thrown in the bin anyway and just, just explore it and just have a bit of fun with it. And the way the, the, the patch in the colour kind of came up with like, like some kind of wrinkled old cheek. And I kind of like, I like that idea. It would be in like some kind of kind of winking, twitching eye person or purse or, or creature or whatever you're gonna be. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure even what I'm doing really with it, but but it's always nice to I mean in a in a strange way it's kind of like this is a piece that was gonna go big you know, going to be going in the bin anyway, so I don't lose anything from from 
drawing on top of it and it's all just a bit of fun which is what what art should be you know drawing drawing with ink and and paint should be like that it should be fun it shouldn't really be something that's so serious unless someone's turned around and said hey i've got a million pounds will you will you draw me this picture which is where you say, oh, yes, I would. But even then, I think if you're going to get paid a million pounds, you may as well have fun with it, right? You may as well draw something that, that made you feel on top of the world. And that's what I try to, how I try to approach my drawing. I try to approach it in a way that if I don't really enjoy what I'm doing and I don't feel fantastic by what's coming out of my mind, then what's the point? And the, the, the honest answer to that is there is none. You know, if you don't, feel something for and if you don't get excited by it every time a piece of ink splashes off i get excited it's like whoa <laughs> you know that kind of i know it's probably very childish but um that's kind of me that's you know like getting all this in here getting boom love it and that's where i think my why I love my life so much. It's kind of like, it's just kind of exploring my thoughts and, and that's kind of a beautiful thing. Just exploring your mind and, I mean, what is it? Nobody knows, you know? I kind of like the idea of this being all kind of old and, Almost like some kind of old bag has exploded or something, you know? And it's going to be, um, it's going to be a drawing that's going to be very odd, that's for sure. I mean, it's not going to be um, something that um, is going to be classic but who knows and I think you should never really say that you know you should really never talk to yourself in such a negative way you know if you if you feel like what you're going to do is not worth it then why would you do it and I love this idea of um, just letting go just seeing what happens and, and I'm honestly no idea where I'm going with this, but um, see, I almost like like the fact that the, the way this ends down here is like almost like some kind of ripped up old T-shirt or something, you know. And that's kind of like what's nice about it. It's kind of like um, it's just kind of. I'm I'm taking it as I see it, and that's such a beautiful experience. There's a little bit tucked out of the bag there. That's cool. Why don't we give him a a T-shirt on there? Why don't we give him a nice kind of. Why don't we give him a Kieran Siemens Studio t-shirt. <laughs> he bought one on my Etsy shop, that's what he did. Because on my Etsy shop I sell t-shirts and hoodies and 
art prints and all that type of stuff. So, if you haven't bought a t-shirt already, get down there and buy one. Go on. Am I joking? But I've, I've had a lot of people writing to me and saying, do you take commissions? Do you sell? Yeah, I do. But, you know, there's quite a few prints all on the shop anyway, so go and have a look at the shop and see what's there. Yeah, I might fall in love with something. Here in Siemens Studio. I always liked the, the idea of having a studio in your title, you know. I used to have a studio years ago. I had a very big studio years ago. And then things kind of went a bit crazy and it all stopped, but what a beautiful idea though. What a beautiful achievement, something like that. So there he is. He's got his Kieran Seaman studio t-shirt on. And let's give him a big long arm down there. Elbow. And then that's hairy arm. See, we didn't know what we were going to do, did we? We didn't think there was going to be an arm coming down there, did you? So that's part of the fun, you see. That's, that's part of the fun of being an artist and, and just having this free flow life. You know, you pick up a piece of paper and you have no idea what's going to be on it until it's on there. And I love that about having sitting with your paper and your ink and coming up with some incredible, you know, sometimes I'd look at the drawings later on that I've done and I think, my God, that's beautiful. Obviously not, not all of them, but sometimes when it happens, you look at something, you think, oh, I love that. I don't know why, but I love it. Um, it's a really special feeling. Even things that you've drawn and you, you, you kind of throw it on the side and you go, well, that was a waste of time, wasn't it? And then later on, you look back at it and you think, well, that's kind of nice. Kind of feel like there needs to be something up there. So I'm going to have to have a think about that. Giving him some shorts. And that's him kind of taking a big step forward on there. flowers on his shorts shall we just again to give him a bit of character and the ink's too wet at the moment to paint and fill it in but it might be one of those ones where you you add in some color later on and it kind of comes alive so I'll keep that as a an option later maybe I'll paint this up 
I don't show many paintings on online. Um, I just kind of feel the whole painting process is a little bit too slow for to keep people's interest. But let me know if it's, if it's something of interest to you or or not. I mean, is it interesting to watch somebody paint in like watercolors or acrylics? Um, maybe it's maybe if you if you if pe enough people tell me it would be interesting, I'll probably do some. But I'm not sure I would find it that interesting. When most people are so kind of careful with their their um. Let's, let's bring in a big foot there. It'd be nice to have a big, big ugly old toe coming in there, wouldn't it? I haven't really watched that many people doing watercolors online, although it's beautiful, the final result with watercolors um, is, is fantastic. Um, and I've also been thinking about doing some other styles, not just ink, but other styles, uh, you know, and trying to, to draw with charcoal and stuff like that, or, or pencil or or even use a different pen you know just to kind of shake things up a little bit oh, that's kind of okay I've not got any blue over there it's just a little bit in there Well, that didn't really go the way I wanted it. That's what I mean about adding colors too too quick. You get too eager and you put color in and then the color goes into the black and the black just destroys it. I'll paint that in a little bit more blue later and give it a little bit. I wanted to kind of give it a little bit highlight with there. I feel like there needs to be something up here. What can we draw up here? Maybe we could draw like a little bird maybe. It's dry enough up there. See, that's the, the, the luxury of just being your own, your own director, as it were, here. You can just kind of think, well, you know, I think there should be something up there, like, like some kind of, bird with teeth or something you know and you can just loosen up and just yeah let's do it man and that's what's beautiful you know the whole kind of freedom of whatever you want it to be like I said this is just a some fun, this is just a scribble, this is just a, a bit of messing around with some old, in a, in a way I'm trying to say, don't take everything so serious, you know, draw and feel, feel what you think, feel what your, your heart is telling you to draw and just draw it and, you know, this isn't really the, the best drawing I've ever had in in my life. But at the same time, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun exploring it. It was, it was fun to just kind of... To see what it would come off, you know? You draw like his little, little legs up there, little claws. Draw another one come in there. Then it gives us such a fun, fun little sketch. There you go. That was a little mad sketch for you today. I kind of feel like there's something needs to be a little bit more going on here, but there you go. It wasn't a piece that got thrown away. It was just a bird and a man and...
There you go. Some kind of crazy exploding bag head wearing a Kieran Seema Studio t-shirt <laughs> with his, with his, uh, <laughs> with his um, flowery trousers, flowery shorts on, going for a walk in the sun. There we are, see his hairy legs down there. There you are, that's kind of like a weird and freaky. And once it dries, I'll maybe I'll paint up the pants and, and the, the bird. But I hope you enjoyed that. It was just a little bit of a crazy bit of fun. That's what art should be, fun. And if you don't like it, throw it in the bin. And if you do, throw it on the side, wait for it to dry, and then see where you can explore it later on. So thanks very much for watching. Another fun, scribbly morning. I'll do some more sketches later on for you and put them up on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining. See you again soon.